Cars are everywhere. You see them all the time. But every once in a while, one catches your eye. In Indiana, we have a long-standing tradition. Hoosiers, if they so choose, have always had the option to arrive somewhere in a chicken. Today Across Indiana is putting our newest chicken to the test. This is John. He's the man committed to keeping a giant chicken on wheels rolling. It was a no-brainer for me. It's great. I mean, I put smiles on, you know, it seems like over 90% of people's faces. Everyone just loves it. It seems like I just make people's day just by driving around and, you know, giving them a few clucks. People just really seem to like it, and everyone usually in the back is always screaming and waving and having a good time. I've even said I should be given a key to the city just because I feel like I lift Indiana's morale a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of a de-celebrity if you ride in the back of the chicken limo because everybody will definitely notice you. One thing's for sure. Aside from the dream of being a producer for public television, I've always dreamed of being a de-celebrity. I'm hoping a night in the chicken limo will make my dreams come true. Time to see what this chicken is made of. Looking nice. As soon as I figure out what this chicken is made of. Have you ever served the chicken limo? Uh, this one is this the first time the chicken limo has been through the drive through We'll take it. Oh, sorry. We got, we got a drive through Nazi in there. All right, dinner, check. Now, it's off to visit my friend Mike at O'Reilly Raceway Park to answer the age-old question of... Why did the chicken cross the finish line? Well, of course to impress the chicks. <laughs> uh, sorry. Thanks for coming out to O'Reilly Raceway Park tonight. Hi. Well, this is a Tuesday night street league. Well, like I said, you can just bring anything off the street, come out, see what you can do. Most of the time, kids make bets with their buddies. My car's faster than your car. Let's bring it out to the track and find out. This whole program was designed to get racing off the streets and bring it to a safe environment. You can bring your minivan out and race tonight, or you can bring out the clucky bird over there. <laughs> a home of the Mac Tools U.S. Nationals right here, O'Reilly Raceway Park famous quarter mile so just to be able to say you went down the track especially in the chicken limo he's got to be real proud to go down this track i know we're pr real proud to have him down the track after we pass the tech inspection we get dialed in 1.3 then it's on to the race best two out of three now the chicken did win one race but i think mike felt sorry for Okay, we can consider the race car driver dream taken care of now. Thanks, Mike. Winner, winner, chicken dinner tonight. Next up, Rockstar. The good thing is, Chris Capper, a member of my crew, is the lead singer for 40% Steve. And it just so happens the guys have a show tonight at The Spin. Now, all we need is an entourage. Chris helped me out with that one, too. Quick call and a couple of 40% Steve fans fall victim to the chicken fever. All right, everybody, let's get ready for the chicken dance. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Welcome to the poultry ride. Do not act like you cannot see us. Do not pretend there is not a giant chicken driving in a circle around the state capitol. We recommend the chicken limo. Of it's course. It's about looking silly and having fun. Yeah. Getting other people to have it's fun a... with us. Hey everybody, 
in regular cars with no animals on top. We're headed to the spin. We pick up the band, the and it's on to the show. Introducing 40% speed. Okay, here we go. All in all, it's been a landmark day. It surely wouldn't have been the same if we'd been in some regular limo. We'll leave those for celebrities with an A through C ranking. As for us D celebs, the chicken limo is the only way to go. Everyone always remembers when they're in the chicken limo. <laughs> <laughs> 